Elon Musk's super PAC is getting quite a bit of attention, both on media and social media, with people on social media saying that they believe it might actually be breaking the law. So let's take a look at what it's actually doing, and you can let me know what your opinion is in the comments. So if you go to the website and you want to register to vote in, let's say, California, which is a good example, you can put your email address and your zip code, and afterwards it will take you to this page. It will say voter registration. It takes less than two minutes to register. Thank you for taking the first step to register to vote in California. Please use the button below and visit your state's chief elections administration official. And if you go to this, this is an actual California government website. The issue comes in when you put in a swing state. Let's say you put in somewhere in Pennsylvania. Instead, you get voter registration takes less than two minutes to register, same as before. But now they want your first name, last name, email address, cell phone number, address, suite number, city, state, postal code, and at the very bottom, they also want your birthday. You can also uh, receive texts and emails, and it says, by providing your telephone number and email, you consent to receive emails, calls, and text messages from America Pack, including pre-recorded messages and via automated methods. Now, what's interesting about this is what happens when you submit all of this. So some people might be confused, and that's why some people believe this might be a legal issue. Some people might be confused and think this is a registration to vote when it isn't. And if you submit all of this, what do you get? Thank you for taking the first step to register to vote in Pennsylvania. Please complete the form below and you'll, we will help you complete your registration. And there's nothing there. I just filled this out myself. There's nothing there. And this is where things get interesting. Because a lot of people are making a lot of insinuations and a lot of claims that maybe this data collection is so they can then contact you, find out if you're a Republican, and then if you're a Republican, send you registration information, but maybe not if you're a Democrat. Now, of course, none of that's confirmed because we haven't gotten that close to the election. I don't think anyone's tested it and gotten those emails yet. I'm sure some journalist has already submitted possible emails for both, both, just, you know, see what happens. But, um, yeah, this is a very... Not good looking, I'll put it that way for me. It doesn't look great when your voter registration form uh, doesn't register you to vote uh, and doesn't even link you to it if you're in a swing state on the website. That, that's pretty bad looking for me. Also, should probably mention, just put it out there, that Elon Musk is uh, currently going to court for some custody issues involving children he's been keeping away from the mother. Because, you know... He has that real divorced energy. It just flows out of him and seems to control everything he does. That and hatred of his trans daughter. So, yeah. A lot of comparisons to this to other things that have gotten people in legal issues before. We'll see how this one shakes out. Sadly, even if what he's doing ends up being found illegal in a court of law, it'd probably take years. 